tonight we're going to be doing a form of improv called an Armando. It's basically going to work. You're going to hear some monologues, and then we're going to do improv that's inspired by the stuff that you guys are going to hear from our monologues. What? And the only thing we need to get started is one suggestion for anything at all. Give me something. Fire! Fire! Fire. parents have a house up in Vermont. It's like a very like outdoorsy place. Um, we go and visit them like probably over the summer, like a couple times over the summer. Um, and so I'm from the suburbs, not very used to the kind of outdoorsy Vermont mentality. Um, but what they have, what they have there in that little town that they live in is this kind of this nature center. And I used to go and I used to love it because there are all sorts of like birds that you could go and look at. And it was really cool. One day they had like a special like learn how to make a fire. <laughs> so I was really excited because I didn't know how to make a fire. So I went um, and my whole family came with me and we were all excited. It was gonna be like a big family project. We get there, I don't know whether it was because it had rained recently or what, but I just could not make a fire. <laughs> and they were having me like spin a, spin a piece of wood and try and create uh, like sparks and create a fire. And actually in retrospect, it wasn't because it had rained because Everyone else could make a fire. <laughs> um, it was just me. And then I was like, guys, can we go home? But my dad, who was a very proud man, was like, we are not leaving until you make a fire. <laughs> um, needless to say, I didn't make a fire. It was a very quiet car ride back <laughs> after they had, uh, ended up closing the center. And uh, I've never made a fire since. <laughs> Dad, I can't get any matches on Tinder. I just keep swiping right. Son. D Son. I can't do it. S swipe left. But that's that's so they know that's a no. Mm. See, it just says fail over and over. Your phone is upside down. <laughs> stay in here on my own. I mean, 
yeah, I know you're my landlord, but we kind of became fra friends. I, friends with Meredith? I, I didn't want to call it that because the canaries are my friends. <laughs> that we uh, were keeping in the uh, artificial pond outside? The ponds that we were keeping in the pond? Yeah, for the food. Those, okay, I, those were my, we each got one creature comfort to bring out to the woods. <laughs> I brought my frogs. Oh, you brought your collection of Sports Illustrated. <laughs> yeah. And you're gonna, we have to catch real food to eat. You can't just eat my frogs. I can't just eat your sports bills. <laughs> okay. Jeez, I feel so bad for getting so much pleasure out of killing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I actually already ate them too. <laughs> Jeremy, I hate how we have to go always visit grandma and grandpa. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna die soon. I know. <laughs> they're so outdoorsy, they seem to live forever. You know, Rodney, maybe if you took up a more outdoorsy lifestyle, you could ex extend your life as well. And, and, you know, you've been looking a little out of shape lately. A little out of shape? not lighting the fire like you used to. Hey, come on. Been, a, been going through a tough time. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> you know, I, it's really not my place to speak. And I, I don't even live with you anymore. So, you know, whatever. I, I don't really have a place in your life like I used to. Yeah, well, you moved out of it. You know, you could just come back. You know, I need you. I always have to come live with these guys, and they're terrible. <laughs> they just run around outside, naked, screaming about the 60s. I can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, you know, come to think of it, that does make me a little uncomfortable thinking back to when we were four. Doesn't it? Yeah. I think it screwed me up. I think that's why I'm out of shape. <laughs> I don't, but I like free t-shirts. <laughs> Oh. 
me that she had discovered something interesting about the house. Uh, she told me that she had found like a riding crop <laughs> underneath a bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, Molly, stop trying to play it off. All right, it's not a big deal, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and like six months go by, nothing happens. Uh, but then, then one day I'm surfing the internet <laughs> and I find a, a, a porno that was shot at my grandparents' house. <laughs> it is 100% their house. Uh, I could tell because of, you know, paintings, a little pottery thing I had made for them was all <laughs> Fences. Good. 
kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let me get him. I haven't heard, I haven't heard a peep from upstairs. I think we're good on the exit. Yeah, they're still asleep. I, yeah, I knocked them out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that's a picture of my what? I didn't want to say anything. Harold, you idiot. This is my house. Oh, 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 someone hit me. Hey, sweetie. Uh, uh, honey. Uh, honey. Oh, someone hit me over the head. Uh, are you guys going to do like a bingo game here again? Uh, yeah, yes, that's why I got that. This is why we have all of our stuff from the... We got the to Tostito chip, yeah. I got the Tostitos. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to grab a Tylenol. I'm not feeling so great. Ugh. You guys having fun? <laughs> I heard that was a bingo night. Uh, Did someone say bingo? Yes. All right, girls. Really Robbers, we're going to rob the house. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. All right, everybody, come into the crochet tournament. Yeah, all right. You got your crochets ready? This one is much better suited to my uh, skills. OK. <laughs> been practicing for months. You are ready this time. OK, OK, got it. Illustrated. I haven't read this since I was a kid. Wow. Just the aesthetic is overwhelming, you know? It's so, so natural, but it combines modern media with nature. Oh my god, do you remember Michael Jordan's flu game? <laughs> that was so Did he ever? <laughs> when he had to stop playing because of the flu. <laughs> to those goddamn movie makers. This, <laughs> they're Sports hey, Illustrated. I made them wear gloves. And besides, the money we make from that is going to pay for, for little Tony's college education. <laughs> and his bar mitzvah. And his bar mitzvah, too. I'm glad that his parents are letting him be raised in our faith. Yeah. <laughs> it means a lot to me. Yeah. And did you notice? Built a crib. Oh. It's as sturdy as our relationship. <laughs> oh! Just broke. Hey guys, it's me, Tony. Is that for me? <laughs> the crib? You, you want our crib too? I mean, yeah. You take our dignity, you take our frogs, 
And now you want our crib? Why don't you just take us? Really? <laughs> That's an option? I'd be down. <laughs> Come here, you! <laughs> You're mine now. <laughs> you, do you really want me to stay in this cage? Yes. Change it. I want to go. If that's what you want, Gumball. <laughs> Welcome to the Glue Factory. Thanks. I'm really excited. Take a brochure. Oh, good <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, 
coyotes in the kitchen. <laughs> Son, I told you, if you don't make friends at school, this is what's going to happen. Okay? I've got no more choices. You've left me with nothing. I oh. thought you were exaggerating. No, I never exaggerate. Come on. Oh, hi, Roger. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Can you explain how coyotes make amazing friends? You said they're very, you know, they're very sociable, very good with kids. Kids are? That's why coyotes actually mate for life. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that means they're kind of loyal, I guess. Yes, well, yeah, well, forever. So you know what, you, you have these guys now. What do you need little old me for? So me and Roderick, I think we're gonna Mom. go home and we'll see you soon, Mom. okay? There's the leash. <laughs> She's a woman now. She deserves to know. I'm a woman now. I didn't know until just now. <laughs> um, and I have not yet been bought this much. <laughs> well, I mean, if anyone can tell her the sacred divine truth, it's us. It's us. It's us. It's like a, sit on the count of three. One, two, three. No. Generation and individually, we are Graham, Wilson, <laughs> 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 Roger, 